Let's jump right into it. The first perfume I wanted to share is by Byredo, Mojave Ghost. It's a very feminine, floral, bright, warm scent. Um, it's very um, light, so it's not offensive, and it's perfect for everyday wear all year round. It's gorgeous. I love it. The next one I wanted to share is also by Byredo. It's their cult classic Gypsy Water. It's kind of a vanilla, pine, woodsy scent, and it's very romantic and um, perfect for, I think, date night or in the evening, fall or winter. It's absolutely lovely, and I have it in the oil roll-on version, which is a little bit lighter, and I like that. This is a unisex scent, so it actually works for both male and female. Um, now both of these, I kind of feel like there's something similar about them, even though the notes are completely different, but sometimes I like to wear them together and they balance each other out really well. Now Lalabo is my favorite fragrance house and Santal 33 is quite famous. It's a unisex scent, it's woodsy, spicy, um, and it's just very sexy. If you're familiar with Lalabo, you may know of their City exclusive scents, which come out only in September. Um, and Tuberous, which is the New York scent, is the first one I fell in love with and purchased. It's a very citrusy, bright green scent that settles into this comforting, powdery, warm smell, which I love and Gaeic, which I um, bought the following year, is for Tokyo. And this one is such an interesting scent. I've never smelled anything like this. It's hard to explain, but it's kind of an earthy but also powdery scent. The combination of the notes work well and is just so comforting. Next I have Thierry Mugler Alien, which I love. I've used this for years during the fall and winter seasons, um, but it's kind of a polarizing scent and not everyone loves it. It's just very um, romantic, sweet, perfect for date night, and it settles into the most beautiful powdery scent. Of course, if you are a perfume collector, you can't exclude Diptyque. Their scents are so beautiful, so natural, and um, this one is Fleur de Peau, which is kind of a peppery um, rose scent, floral scent. It's, I think it leans a little more feminine. Um, it's very soft and it's also not very offensive. Um, and the funny thing is when I wear it in the winter time, it kind of um, brings warmth, but in the summer it brings a coolness, which is kind of interesting. This one is Eau Rose in the Eau de Toilette format of Diptyque. It's a very um, clean, almost shampoo-like scent, but it's very, very lovely, very feminine, um, and it just kind of settles into your skin, almost like a skin scent. It's very nice. I also wanted to include the Eau de Sens Hair Mist from Diptyque. It's a kind of earthy, almost a little bit bitter orange blossom scent, but funny enough, this was the only smell I could tolerate while I had morning sickness when I was pregnant. Um, it's great for summer. I love the Bulgaria Omnia Amethyst scent. It's a very clean, soapy, powdery, light iris scent, and I wore it on my wedding day. Jo Malone Red Roses is a very classic, true to rose scent. But I actually like it better on others than on myself. The Orange Blossom from Jo Malone is my favorite of their scents and it reminds me of Hawaii because I wore it when I went vacationing there. 
Inflorescence by Byredo is pretty much like spring in a bottle. It's a very lovely combination of different floral scents and um, every time I wear it, I just feel really fresh and bright, clean and warm. It's really, really very pretty. I saved my favorite for last. This is another 13 by Lalabo. It is my go-to signature scent. It's so lovely, but also very different from everything else that I have. It's kind of a warm, amber, woodsy scent, and it wears very closely to your skin. Um, I would highly recommend sampling this if you have the chance. It's so beautiful. Strangers in 